while I was laying there, how is the how is the Lord going to work it out? Because there are people right now in the church, for example, that I just don't ever want to see again. And yet I know I'm not going to have that attitude someday. I'm still going to be me. But how is it going to be that all of this is going to be reconciled so that we're not worried about the petty things that bother us right now? The glory of the Lord. Yeah, absolutely. And I just wonder how he's, because I know he is. We're all going to be in perfect union and perfect fellowship. He wouldn't have it any other way. How is he going to take all of my neuroses and my failings and and how is he going to correct that in me? Put off and put on. But still, we're still the same people. You know, people say, oh, you're not going to know your old life. Listen, if that's true, there is no point in going to heaven because what's the point? You're not you anymore. I disagree with that. I think that's a completely false teaching that people have. And secondly, if we don't know our old life, then the glory of what Christ did for us means nothing. Okay. He saved a guy that is as corrupt as any person on the planet when he saved Charlie Garrett. And I don't ever want to forget that. Not for all of eternity. Okay. And so for people to say that. Absolutely. He does. But we aren't going to forget that. We're not going to forget that we were saved by Christ. When it says that, he's saying that our, when he says he forgets our sins, that means they are forgiven forever. That's what that means. So even after he wipes our tears, we still... Absolutely. We're still going to know who we are. We're, if not, what's the point of being what's saved? What is the point of the life that you have lived? I, I completely disagree with it, but somehow he will be able to take all of that and he will be able to put it together in a way so that we don't have this, this stuff that goes on between us right now. Absolutely. Um, but uh, when he says he forgets something, there is in God, and I talked about this in the early <laughs> Genesis sermons, God cannot forget anything. He is God, and therefore he knows everything that ever has happened, ever happens, and ever will happen. He knows it right now. When it says that God forgets, the idea of forgetting is actively pushing something out of the way or moving it back in. And so when it says, uh, then God remembered Noah, he never forgot Noah. It's just an act of, uh, for our benefit. In other words, it isn't God forgetting and remembering. It is for our benefit. The reading of that is that God remembered Noah. It is, there's this active occurrence that is happening in the life of Noah where he is remembered. And that is what the Bible is telling us. But God isn't going to forget anything, ever. He knows every sin we've ever committed. And he's going to be able to revel in what his son did to reconcile us to him. Everything will be there. But I just don't know how it's going to be where we can overlook all of the things that we've done, that other people have done to us, and that we've done to them. I just can't wait for it. I, I can't wait for it. Anyway, that's what I was...